Have you ever heard of a crime so well planned you were honestly kind of impressed? Here are four epic heists that were caught on camera. Number 4. My Elusive Drug on New Year's Eve 2015, the Super Value Pharmacy in Euless, Texas became the target of a two-hour heist. Busted a window on a pharmacy. The two thieves know what they're doing. They're crawling on the floor to avoid motion detectors. Oh, duck down. Next, they start stealing as many cough syrup bottles as they can, and then well, goddamn, they got lean cough syrup bottles, all that shit everywhere. They got black gloves. I mean, shit, yeah, this is a pharmacy, but still, who would have thought to do some shit like this? Like, come on, man, a pharmacy? And then they crawling all on the floor, 007 and shit, trying not to get caught. Like, they, they, they really taking this shit to the next Your level. Bottles as they can. Down. And then... Plugs in the saw into this, into our electric in an attempt to cut the safe open which he struggles with at first but he's no amateur after getting into the safe the thieves grab multiple trays of prescription pill bottles in the end the burglars get away with a million dollars worth of drugs that's maybe one of the struggles of the community pharmacy is is that they're susceptible to some of these things no one was arrested for the crime so you mean to tell me these motherfucking dudes broke into a goddamn drug store to do all this 007 shit just to steal drugs now i can't say uh a million dollars do something motherfucking good right now and they got away with it which is crazy they seen exactly everything they did they didn't set off the motion detectors or none of that shit i wonder like how the hell who would think of some shit like how would you know a million dollars worth of drugs is, is in the fucking safe right there like how would you know that Number 3. Ghost Riders The last thing a mall goer expects is a thief on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Where do you think you're going? But Are you serious? This is how y'all get down in London? Fucking $3 million worth of jewelry and they ride motorcycles and scooters in the fucking mall. <laughs> motorcycles and scooters in the mall. And they fucking got $3 million. $3 million. Six people. How? I mean, shit, that's crazy. That's exactly what shoppers had to deal with at the Brent Cross Mall in November 2012. <laughs> Six thieves ride three motorcycles into the mall in North London, terrifying everyone nearby. The hooded robbers, armed with bats and axes, start ransacking the Fraser Hart jewelry store, stealing $3 million worth of merchandise. Fortunately, no one was injured, but no one was arrested either. Number 2. The Helicopter Heist what you're about to see is not a scene from Skyfall, but real-life CCTV footage. On September 23, 2009, a group of thieves targeted the British-based G4S Cash Depot in Stockholm, Sweden, and their getaway vehicle, a stolen helicopter. Helicopter! Helicopter! The gunmen land on the rooftop. They use sledgehammers and explosives to smash and blow their way into the building. Once inside the vault, the thieves haul up bags of cash, and when they're done, they simply fly away and ditch the helicopter later. Although there were 20 staff members inside, no one was hurt. What's even more impressive is that before the heist, the thieves had placed metal caltrops on all streets connected to the building to prevent the police from stopping them. Hey, sorry y'all for stopping, but this is very interesting. They throw these things down just so they wouldn't get caught, so the police couldn't swarm the building and try to stop them from doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the hell think of that? To, to put them down. Where would you even find it? I guess if the black market got everything, so let's just see how this, you know what I'm saying? Cal Trump! However, seven men were arrested and sentenced to prison in relation to the crime, although at least three robbers have never been found. We got away with it. Oh, man. You mean to tell me they stole a helicopter, bruh? How the fuck you steal a helicopter without getting caught? Don't they got, like, tracking devices or something on it? Like, I can't even believe that they fucking would. This is like some goddamn... 007 fucking James Bond type goddamn modern warfare god of war type shit you know it's like you don't hear nobody stealing helicopters to go steal that's crazy but let's see how this play out because I never heard no shit like this before somebody going to get somebody steal a helicopter and then turn around 
to go. Yeah. Number one, high speed heist. You wouldn't believe it if it wasn't caught on camera. On December 8th, 2016, a brazen robbery took place on the Beijing Shanghai Expressway in China. Two Chinese thieves jump on a moving truck, then start tossing its goods onto their own truck, which is trailing right behind. In front of everyone. After robbing the loaded truck, the thieves jump back into their own truck and speed away. That was quick. The bold bandits seem to have gotten away with it, as no arrests have ever been made. Now this is some fast and the furious type shit right here. These little people, these little Chinese people didn't hit a major lick. They up here got one you see what y'all y'all see what they was doing? I'm just looking and thinking like yeah, this, which which fast and the furious was this on? I don't know. But they definitely did some fast and the furious because this is old footage. So maybe Fast and the Furious copied this. I don't, I don't, I don't know, y'all let me know, y'all let me know. The midterm elections are over and the results aren't great for Donald Trump. Several of the candidates he went out of his way to endorse, including Dr. Oz, lost their races. Many of Trump's picks held extreme positions on abortion and peddled his widely debunked election lies about Joe Biden, but he's not claiming any responsibility for his party's losses. Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit, and if they lose, I should not be blamed at all. Leading up to the midterms, Republicans were optimistic about a possible red wave of votes in their favor. But last night, that's not what happened. A year ago, Republicans thought they had a chance to reclaim 60 seats in the House of Representatives. But those gains are shaping up to be much smaller. Votes are still being counted, and while Republicans will likely retake the House, their majority is shaping up to be a slim lead of anywhere from 1 to 20 seats. With such a narrow majority, experts believe Republicans will have a difficult time governing with far-right extremists in their caucus like Marjorie Taylor Greene. All eyes are also on the Senate, where two races remain too close to call in Georgia and Nevada. If Democrats pick up just one of those seats, the Senate will remain an even 50-50 split as it is today, with VP Harris casting tie-breaking votes in favor of her party. The final results of the House, Senate, and statewide races should be available in the coming days.